They might even go for the dive here. Oh, I think they want to look stun for him the and spear. Land a spear and then is it going to work? Spear doesn't connect. JWoww has managed to stun, but Diamond hops in. Their flash is going to be able to get him away. Slice and dice, rather. Now we do see Diamond. He's low on mana, but he's taking two turret shots. It's at max. The knockup doesn't connect. It is one for Horo. Cabochon's going to get dropped by the next oh. turret shot. Double kill for Horo, but two kills for Gambit in a dirty tower dive. It's actually him and Pinoy that have come out of this laning phase. You do have to graze well. into a Corky, so that lame oh, choke is pretty Nisbet good for you. Oh, Nisbet has found himself a crocodile. Dominus is out, but Horo's on the board again. That's his third kill of the game. Nisbet, just as we were praising, or rather calling you out for not necessarily punishing Edward, managed to put a kill on the board. That was well done. That was a nice little uh, swap around for him, him but Jay, wow, he's in trouble. Well, Flash Tippers comes safe. out from Eddie. He's gonna be forced to flash away, but Gambit have got themselves control of the tower. They will most likely lose this dragon in reply. As Betsy goes for a godlike steal, but there's no vision, so not even gonna throw it out. We'll take a glimpse at that top tower in a moment. Should I think go down it should as well. go down. So trading global gold for the dragon buff. Yeah. In that tri bush. I kind of saw Oro and Nisbet. They're gonna decide to not engage. JWoww's caught out the pounce, the takedown. JWoww's putting damage onto Kabashar. Kabashar forced to flash away. It will be Aurelia being dropped. Gambit now needs to get control of this jungle on the bottom side with the five members. JWoww still trying to find him. He's really been shut down by Diamond oh. and Cabernet. They're looking for horror here. Trevor. He's gone. So, you just saw the enemy top lane and teleport to the bottom lane. You even see him running with the team into your own jungle. Because you had the minions before and you had Nisbet as well spotting them. You're down to 30% HP. Why on earth do you start your Raptor camp? Why don't you just back away knowing oh. they're there? I don't understand. Tofisio is left speechless as Horo getting caught out. So not being an AD carry, moving the caster route is actually something that Tabs mentioned earlier today. When those Ezreal's not going a traditional AD carry route. Look, 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 look at Corey. They're on, they're on a hunt. Corey's not going anywhere. Betsy's the one that's in trouble. He's about to find everybody. Yeah, he what? Well, Itsy Bitsy Spider gets squashed <laughs> under the boot of Meet Your Makers. It's going to give them a dragon. That's great. But those wards itself, because you have to push all the way into this inhibitor turret, shouldn't be the tactic for Gambit. It's real. More importantly, JWoww's top lane performance for MYM. It has been an improvement over Mima in recent games. So we do see Horo. He's gone in. Dragon secured for Gambit. That is number three Back of away. five. Back no, the fight for MYM now. I have more action. JWoww's found Cabo Shard. And she's veiled pop. There's a lot of tankiness and a lot of trading back and forth. We do see Horos caught out by Betsy and Pinoy. Now JWoww, he decides he wants to fight. Eats a javelin toss. JWoww, you've totally gone the wrong way. And Pinoy finds a kill. That was not wow at all. Summon a heal forced out of Corey. Betsy is running Horo down. Mystic Shock goes wide. Solar Flare slows Betsy. Javelin from the background. That's a massive jump from Diamond. Two-man stun from Eddie. Gambit find four kills in quick succession. And they peel for Baron. They've now grouped up effectively. It's Pinoy that's out of position. Well, the two Eddie cares are sitting in the mid lane here, trying to poke each other a little bit. So this should be a dragon again for Gambit. They can still win this game because Gambit has simply not been able to read the close-up lead. And now we're going to get a team fight. That is a massive crocodile. Corey and Nisbet caught out. Solar Flare hits nothing. Nisbet needed to make that count. Eddie is going to be zoning away MYM, and that will cost him his life. Gambit secured two in reply for one. Break into the base of MYM. Now get two inhibitors, inhibitors for this. Then Gambit should be able to close out on the next push. Absolutely punishing Nietzsche Maker's decision. MYM finally... Oh, all taking the base gate. <laughs> hey, I thought base gates only worked for your team. Gambit managing to show they can hop, skip, and jump through. Massive, massive minion wave. That's two siege canyons sitting with them in reply. Gambit secure the turret, decide not to commit. We do see the Zenith Blade. Pinoy is going to use that QSS to get away. Right to the Arcane, unable to find a kill. Betsy is going to be using the last of his mana. Slows down Nisbet. Solar Flare up in oh, a moment I didn't get or the reset. two. Jay Wow, unable to find the target. Yeah, didn't manage to kill the minion. in return. So Gambit get an inhibitor, they get two turrets. Objective the dream. This is actually MYM's chance of coming back in this game. Getting oh, like, not anymore, mind. it's not Deficio. MYM have got destroyed. Nisbet with the late solar flare. They're in full retreat. Horo is out, Nisbet is out. Gambit looking for more. Mr. Rawls got no mana. Mystic Shot does not manage to connect. Betsy flashes, does get the second. 
Last tick of mana working out to get Mr. Holes. Betsy continues the chase. Diamond is now running down Corey. He pounces in, doesn't find a target. Corey sidesteps the stun. Betsy eats the missile barrage. Gambit and peeled away. They don't want the dragon. That's a two-man stun from Eddie. Gambit are going to look for the Nexus. They've got the minions in the top and the bottom wave as well as the middle wave. And they are going to lose Betsy, but it's not going to matter. 30 seconds, 50 seconds, 60 second death timers on the side of Meteor Makers and Gambit. It's not been pretty, but it's going to be a win. That's four games in a row for Gambit after losing their opening five. I think it's very clear that they were just missing a bit of the shot calling here and Nick often provides. He's a very smart player, but a win is a win. You have a sub for this week as Nick is out sick. Gambit, well, they can't be happy about the game itself. 